Hey guys, welcome back to our show now, including Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rockefeller Brains, three asteroids out in the wilds of space. We are set to continue uh, to continue our expansion at some point, but I feel like the next few episodes are going to be taken up with trying to just make these bases just a little bit more nicer, such as we have some buildings to rip down. Uh, we also have uh, like some power to get up and running over here, trying to get some cooling uh, up and running running on our very warm base would also be pretty good but today my focus is on these guys look at them uh, flapping around on the floor these goldfish are a resource that we are not making great use of right now uh, we have one that survives up here look at this little guy he's just gone through a, uh, a life cycle where his daddy dropped down an egg he then was born and that that cycle continues on and on and on into the future and i would like that that cycle to happen down here i'm just going to start ripping stuff up part this is where our polluted water comes comes to uh, you can see that we've got this line that comes from our natural gas generators over here they produce a lot of polluted water just dump it on the floor this liquid pipe picks it up it follows this line here oh the way up here past our toilets where it'll pick up some of the outflow of the toilets dumps it into this carbon skip uh, not carbon skip this water sieve excuse my little slip there uh, makes it into regular water where it then supposedly ostensibly if you will uh, is cleaned by chlorine uh, to then become oxygen now we don't need this water sieve this this is one of the things that can definitely be dropped out of the system here because my plan is to drop a bunch of polluted water have these gulp fish the the little blue guys be kept in this little tank here and then we can get a little pump somehow uh siphoning all of that off i'm thinking that mostly water likes to float on top of polluted water you can see that the water is trying to make its way up i bet if we broke this block here no one can actually reach it but i bet if we broke that block there it would then float to the top so i'm wondering if we could use that maybe have ourselves a pump let's uh plumbing pump where's the li liquid pump there we go maybe we have one of those oh do i rip all of this down we make it actually quite full no because i want to get to the composter well i want to get to the composter let's not worry about that uh so yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna slam down a pump here we want to have like some sort of sensor perhaps even we want to have let's uh go the liquid vent maybe just here maybe maybe we'll only have the liquid pumping out up to a double high if i pop it here instead we can have this pipe that's coming up this way maybe uh, maybe do a little bit of jump over we need to figure out what we're going to do at this this pipe here comes down and becomes the the, the clean water pipe here instead okay yeah we, we can make this work we can make this work what I am wondering, where are all of my duplicates? Because I want to rip all of this down. They're sweeping up. They're, they're going around. They're doing very pleasant things. Some, some of them are building. So what, what are you doing? You're storing materials. There's a lot of storing going on. So I guess we're just going to kind of hold fast for five minutes and, and see see what happens when they're done let's let's check the printing plot pod why we're here let's uh sandstone why not so whilst we wait for these jobs to get done let's go for a little bit of a tour around let's see what's going on on reverse then things that could be going wrong we could be having some trouble over here this uh overheating is not a problem all these guys are producing polluted water which gets pumped down here picks up by this liquid pump gets filtered out one way or the other crude oil okay that's now being split in two ways you know what i think we can just for now break that line here this used to be the old manual way that we produced our petroleum it, uh, the crude oil gets picked up from our slick ranch the slicks eat the carbon dioxide and produce uh, crude oil we then make that into petroleum which then gets burnt for more carbon dioxide beautiful little system goes round but we don't use that anymore we now have this petroleum generator down here oh, well that's great let's uh below zero this is flooding i didn't want this to flood good job that we are going around and having a look i turned this sensor back the other way at some point it must have been to make sure that people could go in and out when we needed to fix some stuff but that that's fine I'm glad that we caught that when we did that could have been a big problem uh we do need to break in there and uh and, and split that what's it is pipe pipe blocked what how did this take damage oh look it got very hot at some point maybe we need to rip this out and replace it with a steel one uh do we have anyone that can do that before night time if, if someone could just come along and do that that'd be great but i've got a feeling that actually not allowed by schedule all right fair enough we'll be back for that not that it even gets not that it even gets used i might just say rip this out and be done with it yeah 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 and then we can also actually 
rip a lot of this power system out. It's just not needed. Okay, there we go. T tidying up. Isn't that great? Over on reversing our original asteroid, uh, you can most easily tell it because by all the uh, lava at the top, the magma here. Uh, I'm slowly just going through. Let's uh, be and do those. Uh, and replacing these tiles so that we can slowly start pushing this magma up. At the moment, we have a bit of a bottleneck at this line here where any magma that is stuck behind this hump or underneath this door will not get processed by my machine um and that's that's going to be troublesome that is going to be troublesome so if we can get these being built that would be great i'm going to deconstruct this one i'm almost tempted to uh, to dig underneath here so we can deal with this first just kind of work our way up one blob at a time because the uh, the abyss light is very hot back there 13 1300 degrees uh, it's a, that's a lot of degrees and i do not want to have to deal with that going rampant in the base. Alright, back on Blagolia. How are things doing? I'm mostly, I'm actually interested in the fact that this uh, natural gas generator, natural gas geyser, sorry, is going to be active in the next 3.2 cycles. I am definitely down for a bit of that. Of course, this is the main power system for Golia at the moment, so, but, but surviving on mainly three little uh, three little solar panels up there just to try and get us through this uh, weird freak occurrence where both of our natural gas geysers went dormant at the same time. Not an ideal scenario to find ourselves in, but, you know, th this is a, a resilient base. It should be fine. Okay, terrible things have gone on over here on Reverse Lynn. Uh The tile has been deleted, uh, has been deconstructed, sorry, but none of the other stuff has happened, so we now have a very very hot amount of uh, abyss light here 1300 degrees as i say trying to spread its heat we're up to 150 degrees there already rutherford is going to be complaining no i'm sorry mate you you actually need to uh, make this a priority over sleep over food over everything i, d I don't really care what happens as long as as it does actually just happen it's got it's got you've got to do it man you've got to do it i don't care of the consequences i do not care uh this is going to be get dug out but then it needs to be re uh refilled with some granite and i don't know where people are oh the, the delivery's already been made that's good hey plank how are you doing are you coming to make the other delivery of granite i don't think we're going to be worried so much about that as it's only a 30 degree abyssalite down here okay nice let's Turn that off. Let let people go to sleep. Rutherford, or oh, my friend. Let's just put him straight in the triage cot. Okay, so from reversing with people burning themselves on the lava, Pyaxlin, I do believe things are going well. We've taken down the uh, the pump over here. Let's just make sure everything is being swept up. Let's also get those from that point if we can. I do like to keep a tidy base whenever possible. This still is free flowing, which is pretty good. Hopefully getting this uh, 300 grams of natural gas out of here at some point. Turns out we can't burn it quite fast enough over on Pyaxlin, as opposed to Bogolia, where we do not have enough coming out. But that that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll definitely get this sorted. Things are going on down to make the box full but everybody's mostly working on the liquid distribution over here which is nice because i do believe we're gonna have yeah a whole bunch of stuff starting to back up here that we want to uh want to d dump in this little space now the big question is have i put this pipe in the right place or does it need to be one higher will this pump be able to touch the water that is in this space here does the pump pump one lower than itself i actually do not know. Okay, well here comes the first of the war. Unfortunately, full of uh, polluted germs and stuff. There would have been a bunch of chlorine to help with that. In fact, I don't think the chlorine would help if we just dumped the water on the floor. As you can see, it does have a bunch of uh, food poisoning in it. And at some point, we're going to have to get rid of this dust cat. This has been here since the very beginning when we first landed. And I was like, I don't really want to destroy it. But we're now at the point where I might very well just have to destroy it. Anyway, this solid filter here, searching for a gulp fry eggs that's these guys they're eggs that come up the uh, the conveyor rail from our main packery down here fishery if you will comes up takes a little dog leg gets uh, sorted out the gulp fry eggs get dropped on the floor and the uh, everything else comes over here we get all sorts of stuff just dumped down on the floor there but that's fine because that's a good processing place for everything now we just need to get a gulp fry up here i don't know the best way of doing it i was kind of hoping 
we'd get some eggs dropped somewhere. Like maybe this guy would drop an egg or something like that. But it doesn't doesn't seem to happen. Uh, what I am going to do is come into here. Whilst we're asking for uh, bleach to be dropped on the floor, I'd also like any... Where is it? Gulp fry eggs to be dropped on the floor. Thank you. And uh, we haven't even got sweep only. So any that get dropped on the floor at all are going to get picked up boy, by our duplicates over here. And whilst we watch Goddard run around the base and tidy things up just a little bit, I want to do something that I don't do anywhere near enough, that is take a moment right here and thank my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my shenanigans can carry on into the future, carve out time in my busy schedule, and replace PC parts when that's needed. So from the very bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Okay, because I'm a bit of a psycho, we've been getting this little uh, little live edge here pushed back further and further. Really should have done the insulated tiles underneath first, but we have ended up in a situation where there's lava right here. So uh, I kind of like that to be dealt with. Boar doesn't want to do the work because he's trying to decide whether to go home or go to sleep or not. Hit the red alert. We, we definitely need to get this particular tile built as fast as possible. And really, I'd like these two built uh, pretty fast now. Maybe not that one right there because that would drop the lava but as soon as that tile is built yeah let's let's get those two built as well plank if you could come make some deliveries rutherford do the the, the actual digging he's the only person on this rock that can do the digs look at that stress go shooting up of course boar was taking the full heat damage there so i can understand why he was getting a little bit annoyed with it okay here we go rutherford just needs to make these last two and then we'll actually have sealed off the majority of the heat this one's 32 1400 though that's it's a very high temperature okay so that that went okay that went fine that, never a good day when you have to hit the red alert i've just noticed this red toilets button here that's that's not great what's wrong with the toilets Probably because of Red Alert, right? Probably because we called Red Alert, so everyone's having themselves a little bit of a problem. They were like, I was supposed to go to the toilet, but you just sent me off to get 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 some work done, and now I'm complaining about the toilet. I'm, I hope I hope that's it. I hope that's it. Over on Baglolia, 2.2 cycles. 0.2 cycles. We are very, very nearly there. Of course, whilst we're sat here watching the gas geyser does indeed start to pop. Okay, that's pretty good. I've got a whole battery full of power over here. I just want to make sure this gas geyser is going to finish its first cycle before I grab this, connect them together, and hopefully we're going to get a little bit of natural gas coming through here. There we go. And that should start powering everything. It's going to it's going to take a while for the concentration of natural gas to get high enough in here for it to uh, actually start paying itself back. And uh, having the ox light in here was also going to make that harder to take care of. Maybe as soon as that ox light is built, is uh, dug, sorry, we'll go ahead and uh, ask for it to be picked up as soon as possible. Just like that bit right there. So someone will come along and grab that. Never fear. But the gases have been working their way over, or slowly but surely making their way over to this first filtration point where we dump the polluted oxygen out and about, and the natural gas gets com uh, comes up here and gets fed into our generator i'm gonna call it a silo generator silo over here this producing little bits of power comes up to our batteries which do uh, all sorts of interesting power checks to make sure that this can go up and running as basically as long as these batteries are not full these will work and as you can tell from the having so little power for so long our batteries are most definitely not full Okay, turns out getting the oxalite out of there was a little bit tricky. Had to uh, deselect everything and just say, hey, could you please just pick up this one piece of oxalite? But now we should start to be able to filter all of this out and make a perfectly little clear system in here. The polluted water down below uh, will cause some off-gassing issues. That will be a problem. Uh, but once all of the walls are put into place... Is someone doing it? This one live it. I... I get what you're doing. I understand why. I did totally ask you to do it. But I'd really prefer you if you could just come along and work on these constructions. Thank you. And that is one great big box complete. We need to sweep out everything from the bottom here and then seal this up with another tile. But that shouldn't be a problem at all. We are outgassing all of the uh, natural gas here. Filling this up to, uh, to quite a pressure. We've got... Um, 
Look at that, a thousand, thousand grams in each place, maybe a kilogram of pressure in every tile. Slightly higher up here, slightly lower down there, but it should average out. Uh, unfortunately, we are having a little bit of, uh, not, not a power problem per se, but a, a problem with the fact that we are not pumping a very concentrated amount of gas out of here. Almost everything that we are picking up has a complete mix of all the gases with it. Uh, so we've not been uh, not been getting much return for what we've been pushing out. Has this got enough to pick some more up? We're in that wonderful situation where we pick up a little bit of gas and then we have to wait for the, uh, the travel time, if you will, for it to produce just a little bit more power to run this pump for a little bit more time, picking up more gas to produce more power, a little bit of a loop going back and round there, but hopefully that will uh, work out well by the time all the can wake up tomorrow. That's, that's what I'm hoping, so that we can sweep all this up and, and seal it in, as I say. A door? Is a door going to do the work? Let's, let's try this. Let's put a manual up there. Let's see what that does. Oh, oh, oh. It's the uh, autosave. I think we can see as time goes on that the gas is coming out much purer over here. Okay, yeah, that's that's really nice. Okay, so the natural gas is being burnt over here. This is then producing a whole bunch of polluted water, as I say, on the floor where it gets picked up and pumped along. You can see these tiny little beads here. Maybe we want to do something to con condense those down. Comes up the blue line, past all the waste, and then gets dumped over here, where we uh, currently have a quarter of a million germs. We really need that gulp fish so we can start turning it into polluted water, uh, not polluted, well, turn the polluted water into clean water where the food poisoning can't actually survive. That, that would be nice, but it's taking a while for anyone to produce a gulp fry egg. Uh, th this guy over here, he's wild, so we've got to wait until about an age of 20. So we, we got about 20 cycles to wait for that. Uh, and then these two here, I don't know what's, what's happening. They've both got reproduction scores, but I just don't think they're actually going to producing time. Because they're on, on the floor, not doing anything, you know? Like, age 14, 58, 7 per cycle. Are we going to be able to get it in time? Okay, so let's say 10 cycles. Uh, it's going up 70% in that 10 cycle. So, yeah, we should be able to get a gulp fry egg in that time. It does have a 78% chance of laying one. There is a little bit of a chance that we're going to get a fry egg instead. And an even smaller chance that we get a tropical fry egg. But uh, I, I'd re I really want to move the gulp fry egg over here. Do you want to see something creepy? I've just come back from editing the last batch of video and oh they all blink together what is going on with this oh that's that's weird and then they all diverge that's uh, that's amazing that's amazing anyway we were trying to get this door put in place you know what i think i'm gonna just encourage that at the uh, top priority i possibly can where's all this water coming from hello my god little gulpy fish friend i bet it's you i bet you're making a lot of mess for me here that's okay i suppose we'll figure out a way to uh, to tidy all this up i think destroying this this little block here might have something to do with it or maybe opening this side here i'm not sure exactly i am um, i do foresee a little bit of a problem coming from building this door it does take up a lot of space and we've only got so much air pressure uh water rather to yeah push around here uh, no problem again let's just try and get it all swept up and moved out of here pretty quickly i'm also going to turn this alarm on for that man this is an involved little process right here uh, what's that? What's that? Hang on, uh, well, what was going on there? We were dropping loads of water into the door frame. Okay, that, that's cool. Uh, we also want to sweep the water. Wow, look at this. Okay, yeah, that is, that is becoming a bit of a problem. As long as it doesn't flood stuff out, that's fine. And to be honest, we've got some pretty hot, hot cobalt there. Uh, so if it could like spread its heat around through the wonders of the water, that would be great. Okay, this seems to be going on pretty well, apart from obviously no breathable gases down here, but that is kind Kind of the reason why I want to mop this up as quick as possible so that the uh, polluted water doesn't outgas all as much more polluted oxygen. Okay, that's pretty good. I did say I was going to turn the alarm on for that. Let's do that now and of course ask for it all to be swept. Whew. What are we going to do with all the water that builds up down here? I'm not sure yet. Maybe make a steam box at some point. I really should have turned to geothermal power on here much, much sooner. Okay, currently we're starting to build up a bit of a backlog of natural gas. I think that means we can start running this little system over here. We just want the power. I don't think I want to run them all. Ooh, ooh, we are instantly into red. Why are we instantly into red? 120. This could be bad. 
Well, anyway, I said I didn't want to run them all anyway, so let, let's do that. That should bring us down into line. Um, yeah, current load 1,020 plus the 8, 9 something. Oh, yeah, okay, may, maybe that is just a little bit too much. I'll have to see if I can figure out how to get like the gas port loader i mean this this could all get ripped down now we don't need any of that but anyway we are going to start building up some uh some rad bolts over here fire them at the interplanetary launcher and start sending all of the uh, very many bits of egg that we have to be sent away not much has been delivered but i do know we've got loads just like lying around Okay, looking at the batteries we've got here, after connecting the uh, the Red Bolt generators, we're still power positive. That's that's good. That's really good. Maybe we can connect a third one. Oh, I never tick allow manual use. That's 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 why it's not collecting up. Okay, so people should get onto that relatively quickly. Faraday and Goddard have it on their radars. I wonder if I need to take it off of here now. Organic eggshell. Yeah, let's let's do that. I bet there's loads in here already. Okay, we're going to do a little something that I have not done before. We've got ourselves a fish trap over here. Literally never... Swan never... Why would you do that? What, what's going... Your toilet's broken? What's... We don't have water. Of course. Okay, quick quick half cycle emergency fix there. I'm just kind of putting a, uh, a, a sieve in parallel here. So half the water goes to the liquid vent, half the water goes to the sieve. We can make sure our toilets carry on running. That, that would be very handy indeed. Why don't they have bridges going across to make sure that these guys actually take priority over the liquid pump here. I, I, I don't think oxygen is as important as being able to keep our toilets clean. Anyway, I did say that we were doing something that I've never done before. Swan Levitt's going past and is not actually doing the job that I want them to do. So uh, let, let's, let's just quickly fix that up here. And I, I don't know whether we've got to put bait into this or what. Let's have a look. Set no, it, Okay, it's set. It's ready. We just got to wait for the gulp fish to swim into it somehow. I don't know. I guess we're just going to wait and see. Ah, uh, that's enough waiting for me. Do you reckon we can actually... Let's let's deconstruct every other ladder here and maybe put in a whole bunch new of the... Oh, no, I don't want that. Uh, a whole bunch new of these fish traps, just like here, 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 and here. And hopefully that'll run into the... What am I pressing? And hopefully the gulp fish will just run into one, one of them. Maybe I've put them at the wrong height. Let's let's try putting these ones down lower. See if that does any better. Okay, there we go. One bit lower down. Brilliant. Did it. Amazing. Let's not worry about those. Uh, okay, so now that we've got you, oh, I bet we need to put down. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, like I say, I've never used one of these before. Fish release. It's going to be one of these. Maybe like like that. That that looks good. Definitely should have got that built by now. <laughs> Okay, fish release, aquatic creature, gulp fry and gulp fish. Let's see if any of these are going to get delivered. I mean, the, the, the numbers are down. They're there. Swan Levitt looks to be the, our first contender. In fact, we can we can make sure that she does so. Move that one up there. Uh, and then let's have a look again at the errands. It's further down the list. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> You uh, set enough alarms off, anyone will carry on, go ahead and do anything. Okay, so this guy has a... Uh, where are they? Gulp fish with some water on them here. But we can't see them. That's that's an interesting oversight from the animation department. Okay, so we go ahead, pop them inside here. There we go, gulp fish. Beautiful. Immediately start flopping around like they can't do anything. Um... Well, welcome to your new environment, I suppose. Let's deconstruct this. <laughs> Give them just a little bit more room to flop around. Maybe they'll go uh, have a good time in this water in the corner over here. I mean, there is about 100 kilograms everywhere. I was expecting this to be enough, but uh, I, I suppose this 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 is life for this fish right now. All we've got to do is wait for water to turn up, most of which is coming from our power plant over here. And I've just realized why we couldn't run as many of these as we would like. We, we've got the wrong size transformer here. We can't we can't run anything over one uh, kilowatt or yeah, one kilowatt because the, uh, the the transformer can't provide it fast enough. We can drain the battery. That's why it looked good when we connected them all together. But then after a little while, the battery died and we didn't have any way of replenishing it fast enough. So I'm just going to throw down a large power tra transformer here, put the battery one step further away and hopefully this will run a few of these for a bit longer. 
Okay, and that is power flowing. We should actually be able to run these now. <laughs> the maths that we did earlier should now hold true. And hopefully that means we're now uh, powering, or at least drawing, sorry, from our power plant a little heavier. 7.4 and holding. That That's good. How much are we producing here? 816, 32 3.2 kilowatts yeah 3.2 kilowatts that that should be enough to keep the base going yeah yeah we're, we're we're doing fine here and drawing enough power to make excess liquid all right great look at that the system is already working they are um, over <laughs> over here it's not working by the looks of it. oh yes it is there's there's going down on the germs uh, over here we've got uh it's kind of stabilizing out at about 40,000 goes up and down we are dropping more liquid in though uh, and over here also the uh, uh, germs dying on the water and surviving on the polluted water but mostly we are keeping those numbers in check now we're just waiting for this to fill up and we do have a little bit of a problem with the liquid pump because it detects water within the the bounds of the of the building that we can see here you can imagine a little box it detects in these four tiles but it pumps from a cross shape which is five tiles like these three this way and then up and down which means it's not going to be detecting liquid until we are already producing too much I, i'm worried about there being uh, a skim of water on the top and then polluted water underneath and then this picks up the polluted water uh, that 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 would be bad that's uh, entirely what we do not want it's not too bad if it makes it down to the electrolyzer just a little bit of troubles but if it fills up the toilet and causes us like some some real backage problems then we are then we are gonna have problems nothing quite as bad for your colony as the toilets going down 10 cycles into this goldfish's life and we have a little bit of a problem ticking over here. You can see that goldfish has a livable range from minus 50 to plus 25. Uh, the current goldfish's temperature is 23.9. That's rather close to it dying. I am I am super not about that. We've been struggling pretty hard to get this up and running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some polluted ice uh, and make some... Uh, temperature shift plates with this i'm actually gonna go all the way up to huge alarms i know shocking that i would use such alarms but hopefully my duplicates will now go along i think the only polluted ice i've got are these uh, little lumps over here that's fine uh mostly because they are got no no germs I'm, I'm all about the lack of germs in there we're building up quite a uh, a pile a stockpile of them in this little little slither of liquid that we've got here uh okay so it's 800 kilograms per delivery Delivery. Let's see, uh, Goddard picks up enough by the looks of it. Was it enough for the whole lot? I don't know. Let's have a look over here. Inside, uh, 1,600 kilograms. Uh, no, sorry, 1,600. Yeah, 1,600 kilograms. I can keep on looking at this and going, no, 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 1.6 kilograms. But no, 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 I'm, I'm very wrong there. So hopefully this will... Um, I mean, these these uh, bits of ice are coming in at a very cold temperature. I think it was minus 35 temperature shift plate. Minus 32 after everything had been carried around. And we're at 30 degree water. So I'm, I'm hoping the two will balance out to somewhere around... I mean, 10 degrees would be ideal. No, 5 degrees would be ideal. I've, I'm not sure what the... I in fact, let's find out. It's on the goldfish. Uh, we click on here, click in the database entry, wait for everything to lag. So ideally, we want to be below 5 degrees. Okay, we, we can definitely do that. Oh, there we go. First one went in and instantly melted. Instantly melted. It's given us two degree water. Okay, that's fine. That kind of worries me about this. Yeah, look, the the, the ice has melted. Oh, oh, I'm not sure about this. Maybe I'll just cancel this, drop that ice on the floor, and it can just slowly swap its temperature with. That's that's good. That's gonna be a an equilibrium state right there. Minus 31. Okay, yeah, that, that's fine. Two degrees. I don't I don't want to freeze my water that's that's really not what i want to do okay th th this should be fine now and what i'm going to do to kind of speed this process up 30 degree water down the bottom here oh my gosh uh but i'm gonna just go ahead and connect this pipe up to here so we can we get a bit more bit more water flowing into the system and hopefully all the temperatures will balance out as i say to about five degree we're, we're already making some fresh water so so that's pretty good maybe at some point we'll be able to uh, deconstruct this uh, this water sieve again <laughs> 
All right, here comes the main bulk of the water pumping up from down below. This should hopefully give us a good thickness of water. This poor little dust cap, it's going to have a bad time. I'm going to move this pump as well. I think we're going to just pop it here. We're just going to have a small fishery. We don't need to have too much going on. So let's, uh, let's cancel all these and see how this works out. Obviously, the power also needs to be rooted up and across there. Hopefully, this will work out well for us. We can start getting a little bit of water pumped up fairly quickly. Okay, with the toilets all filled up, I've gone ahead and broken this bit of pipe here so that we can fill up this water much quicker. We've got 20 degree water in there, but we've also got minus 20 degree ice, so this should hopefully balance out to about a zero. One of the things that we have been waiting for for most of this episode is for this fish inside our little mushroom over here to go through a full reproduction uh, cycle. We are 1% away from that. That should be uh, be pretty pretty happening. Uh, going to grab the egg and, of course, dump it with the, uh, the power of this automatic dispenser over here. Uh, throw it in via the grub fry egg. Unfortunately, it turns out that a seventh of a, of a uh, cycle is quite a long time to wait. So whilst we're here, let's have a look in the mini pot and see what we've got. I'm definitely going to take those omelettes. Thank you very much. Is there, is there anything else we need? Like, no, the omelettes are more calories than the uh, Swamp Child Heart there. Uh, 7%. C come on, let's, let's do it, guy. <laughs> I'm starting to suspect that this little fish will not level up here. So the other one is at 73%. Let's uh, let's wait and see when that goes up to 74. I'm sure it's not going to take uh, too uh, long. And hopefully by that time, this one would have laid an egg. That's that's kind of what I'm hoping here. 74. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not actually going to happen, is it? All the way up at 100. We've gone up by a day's age. Turns out gulp fish cannot lay an egg unless they are in water. I think that's what's going on here. I'm not sure exactly, though. Which means we're going to have to deal with gulp fish farming the old traditional way. We're going to grab a fish feeder over here. I'm going to pull it up over this way. I'm not sure. Oh, I hate it when it like gets rid of the overlay for you. Hopefully putting it in like this, we should be able to feed up a whole bunch of um, uh, algae. Algae is the food of choice for the gulp fish. Uh, and that will give it a high chance to lay more than one egg at a time. Unfortunately, this guy is wild. I kind of wanted to keep him wild, but we, we're not going to be able to do that. That that. That's an unfortunate side effect. Okay, the fish filter, fish feeder, sorry, has been built. I'm going to just go ahead and put a, I don't know, a kilogram of algae in there at any one time. Uh, also, in an act of desperation, I'm going to build a fish trap over here, trying desperately to get these fish to jump into it. I don't think that's going to happen. There's not even any water around here for it to uh, to work. But we're just going to leave this here. I hope that they will eventually bounce into it uh, and in the meantime I'm gonna try and get this gulp fish to actually uh, co convert as much of this uh, polluted water to water as possible because if we follow this line all the way back down here we've uh, we've got the pump out of water now so uh, wh whilst I could move this down pump out the rest of this water I feel like trying to convert this over to uh, clean water might be the actual winner Oh, we have a problem. Oh, we have a big problem. We have started pumping some of the polluted water. The way I've got this set up, I can't actually stop it. Uh, I guess we're just going to wait and see where it goes. Oh, no, there goes another one. Okay, all right. We, we're going to have to dis disrupt this one for now. Uh, liquid pump dis disconnect. Uh, and we'll let that... Do a little bit. In fact, let's, uh, let's do it. We'll, we'll let this uh, do a little bit of converting before we put the pump back, yeah? I really expected this uh, gulp fish to be able to keep up. You can see that we're only shipping in, let's have a look, 30, 30 like about 100 grams of water per second. Uh, maybe not even that. And the gulp fish is picking up 200 grams per second and converting it to regular water. I really thought this guy would be able to convert the whole lot in, uh, in, in succession, you know, be able to keep it going. But uh, I don't see when he's releasing the water that's the oh, the, 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 the whole lot went but where did it where did it even go you know oh we caught one oh we, we caught one did it work over it really worked over here oh my gosh i i only know because someone just came along and dropped it off oh wow i mean i'm i'm all about this all about why is this guy glum what 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 is, what is wrong with you you are glum um because you're overcrowded i mean that we're not going to be able to do much better and then we just dropped an egg of course we've just dropped an egg okay so i mean the water's going to fill up here but really all i need you to do is carry on eating i don't i don't really care about anything other than that the glum will slow you down though hmm 
It looks like it's better to have a tame but glum fish than to have a totally wild fish. You see, the creative crit metabolism is up 100 but down 80 as opposed to just down 80. 15, in fact. Okay, all right. That's uh, a little bit a little bit of less of a punishment for having a wild creature in here. But I guess, I guess we're just going to leave these to keep on turning over at this point. I really wanted this water to get changed. You can see, though, look at the, uh, the number of germs in the middle. Uh, 95. 95, 96, 97 germs. This is amazing. We are slowly being able... It's because we're exposed to radiation. You're kidding me. We are exposed to radiation. I did not realise. What? How's that doing for my fish? <laughs> it doesn't list it anywhere. It doesn't list it. So I'm just going to assume that we're doing okay. <laughs> Okay, so in an effort to uh, bring the temperature down just a little bit more than it already is, I'm building a bunch of temperature shift plates out of ice. I don't think these temperatures are quite as low as before. As you can see, this is just zero and over here as soon as I find it. 1.6, that's uh, rather warm, uh, but hopefully they should bring the temperature down enough. Let's have a look. Minus 26 and then these ones here. Okay, I see, I see. Maybe I want to build a few more of these and try and get to the ice at the top here in the vacuum. It seems to have uh, held its temperature just a little bit better. Also putting the gold pump back in place just a little bit higher up than it was. Uh, this should hopefully make sure that all we have is polluted water at the bottom and cr fresh, clean water on our way up there. As you can see, adding these ice temperature shift plates is definitely helping that situation as well. So the tame fry that we moved in here, sorry, the tame uh, gulp fish that we moved in here is just about to age over and uh, become a, an old old fish and die and provide some food for our colony here that should hopefully bring down the number of critters in this little area down to two obviously we've got a baby and we've got an active gulp fish there and i'm hoping at that point we lose our overcrowding because we're about to get to the point where the liquid pipe will turn back on the liquid pump sorry will turn back on and start producing uh, some more water for the base i was kind of hoping he would have died by now if i'm to be honest i've been watching him age up for a while he's been on age 25 for a little time now so uh, could you i i don't I don't want to main, I don't want this to sound quite like it does, but could you just like hurry up and die, please? He's stopped aging up. Look at uh, the little ar arrow has disappeared next to his next to his age. What what does this mean? What does this mean? Are we just waiting for him to starve now? Oh, there, and there we go. It's happened. It has happened. So hopefully someone's going to come along and uh, fish that out of the water. Let's let people back in here for the moment. The people can come around in any direction we want. And yes, indeed, we have lost the overcrowding. So all we're waiting for now is a little bit more water to enter into here so that the pump can start pumping okay so we can watch this system work 2000 grams of water drop out of the gulp fish which then eventually bubble up to the top i was expecting it to have bubbled up to the top by now hopefully we'll get to see another one and as that washes over the pipe then picks it up and dumps it into this stream here unfortunately the pipe is blocked at the moment but that's that's no trouble that's just because we've got a little bit of backlog to get through uh could we, could we have one more dump of water okay that should be fine i'm not seeing it actually flow out of him though man i've watched this three times already what is this okay here we go the water flows up and over the uh, the pump not in liquid uh, tooltip disappears and it would have dumped the water into the pipes if it wasn't for the fact that we're already full of water but i have now cut that pipe and that should keep us ticking over nicely the fact that we've now got two fish in here doing the same job should mean that we're doing it twice as fast that's that's how that works two workers twice as fast right but with the end of our reliance on sand, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to get this guy. This guy over here is Squeaky Puff. We're going to send his babies through the interplanetary launcher. We're going to go to Pyaxlin and we're going to take advantage. Where is it? Up or down? Up or down? It's down of this chlorine gas guy vent that we've got here. Because I, I would like to get a uh, regular supply of bleach stone. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.